Okay, as you may be guessing, that looks like an iPhone. Well, you're wrong. No, in fact, it is one of those dumb clones coming in from another country, I guess, or something like that. Now, I started a review on this, and the whole thing didn't upload. So, here's part two. Sadly, I didn't want to have to do two parts with this, because this is not the best MP3 player to try to work with anyway. Now, in the instruction book in the box, it mentions an installation CD. Installation CD. So I go ahead and I take it out of the packaging here and realize that this CD is way too small to put anything into it. Like, take a look at this compared to a normal CD. I mean, seriously, I have no idea what the hell you'd put that thing in. So, from that point forward, um, there is no way to install the driver's software. So, from that point forward, I am stuck with a flash drive, to which I can only use as a standard MP3 player that is a knockoff anyway, because I have another knockoff MP3 player in which we'll be taking a look at at another time. Actually, I have several. So we'll take a look at all of them. Now the first thing you're going to notice about this dumb MP3 player here is that it looks almost exactly like an iPhone. And you'll know that for sure if you've ever seen it. Oh, who am I kidding? Everyone has seen the iPhone unless you live under a rock. And if you live under a rock, you're probably not watching this video because you're squished by that rock. Anyway. The iPhone looks a lot like this, except for the bottom down here, which is not the correct adapter port for the iPod, iPhone, iPad. Basically, at my point, if it's an Apple product, it doesn't look like that. I just grabbed my old iPod to show you what I mean. I mean, check that out. These don't even look anywhere near identical. 30 pin dock connector, standard USB. 30 pin, standard USB. Not at all the same. I mean, this is standard micro uh, USB, and this is the 30 pin dock connector. So it's the only thing that does not look like pretty much correct. I mean, it's even got this two screws down here like the real iPhone. It's even got the separated volume buttons just like the iPhone 4. Now the only problem with this thing is it's a wee bit too small to fit into any iPhone 4 case. Not like you'd want to protect the thing anyway, but it's the point that it will not fit. So don't think you can buy this and put it in a case. Not like you could ever figure out the name to this anyway, because the actual product name for this MP3 player is SMPK4964. Now, try to remember SMPK4964. You forgot it already, I bet, didn't you? iPod Touch. Try to remember the name iPod Touch. Do you still remember it? Of course you do! Because it's plain and simple and easy to remember. Not a bunch of numbers and letters to a product that we're never going to see again after it leaves the shelf on big lots. So, you're never going to find the thing again, and probably nobody else in the whole entire world was stupid enough to buy it except for me, so that I could review it. And that's why I got it. And, uh, for your information, this is not a SIM card slot. No, no, that is one of those little micro uh, SD card slots, because they were too cheap to give you a cloud service like the iPod or enough space, they give you four gigabytes. Uh, not like you could come up with four gigabytes to store on this piece of crap anyway. Alright, so here goes magic. We're pulling off t um, probably the peel that probably cost more to print than the MP3 player cost me. Alright, I got the MP3 player turn. I got the MP. Never mind. I gotta go charge it again. Alright. It happened again. Um, I just charged it and it died again already on me. Um, you know what? 
I'm going to put on the charger one more time, and I'll see what I can do. But this is two times in a row that I, it charged all day and all night. And it's... It just died. Alright, it finally got a charge after like a long time. So I've got the MP3 player charged and it's time to take a look at the MP3 player. Now that it's actually on and functioning, we can take a decent look at it. So once we turn the MP3 player itself on, we have some icons on the home screen here as well as the time which is displayed in the uh, military time format. And the icons we have on our screen are music, video, photo, camera, ebook, applications, and setting. Once we go into applications, we get recorder, explorer, and a calendar, which is not correct. Alright, so I got a couple of pictures off the camera on the back of it and found out that it is quite hard to actually use the camera and other features like that. Again, because the touch screen is horribly um, unresponsive, opening up folders and menus that you don't want to have open anyway. But the camera does take a decent picture. I think that I remembered it taking a better picture than it would for me. Uh, but there is a picture off of the camera on the device. So not the worst thing I've ever seen. But I did go around and get some pretty uh, good pictures out there in my yard. So you see that um, it takes a decent photo. Not wonderful, a um, bit better than some photos, uh, better than the camera on another uh, knockoff MP3 player I bought. This one actually takes a great photo, uh, unlike this MP3 player here, which does not take a great photo, but is a great MP3 player. This one is more of a better ca uh, camera than it is an MP3 player. Then to get to your videos, it's a different folder. You have to go to video, video, camera. Um, so videos I found very hard to use, but there I am videotaping in my yard back behind me there. Um, so it doesn't take a great video really at all. So the iPhone definitely does a better job with videos with that 8 megapixel camera. But um, this definitely tops other MP3 players on the market, but does not top the iPod Touch or the iPad in any possible hope or way. Or if you have a 5th generation Nano, it does not top that either. I do not have a 5th gen Nano, but the quality of that camera is just as good as the one on the iPod Touch. So basically, in conclusion to this whole video, all I really need to say is just, you know, watch your money and spend it wisely and be aware that there are, you know, perfect clones of whatever you may want to buy, like all the way around it. This looks a lot like an iPhone. So be aware on eBay and places like that that these are out there and that they are very very easy to get your hands a hold of clones and they are nowhere near as good as the real iPod touch or iPhone I mean they are very very hard to use so just make sure you spend your money wisely and if you are going to buy a knockoff mp3 player do read some reviews and uh, stay away at all possible costs from the SMP K4964, which is sold at big lots around the holiday times. So do be aware of these MP3 players because they are almost always out there. And uh, like I said, just be aware of them because they are not as good a bot 
as you would think. See, look at that. Not as good a buy as you would think, and the charge only lasts for a couple of seconds.